Hi everyone, my name is Joshua Mangrum. I am the writer and director of Unwanted. I am very excited to share with you this in-depth look at how we made my latest short film. In case you haven't seen the short yet, I will link it in the description below. Writing this project was fairly simple. My friend Cameron Denny, who is the daughter of Erin Denny, the person this entire short is based off of, she wrote a speech about her mother's story and I based my script off of her speech. My name is Erin Denny and this film is based off of my story. Hi, I am Cameron Denny. I am the daughter of Erin Denny and I played her as a teenager playing my mother since I have a personal connection with her and since we're very close. It was in a way seeing her life through her eyes and that gave me a whole new perspective and a whole new appreciation for my mother and what she has gone through. This film could to speak to somebody out there that there is hope and that no matter what happens in life that God's in control and, and he can heal all hurts. I knew because of the larger scope of this project, we would need to assemble an incredible crew. And we really lucked out with this project. Hunter Starnes agreed to be the DP. Uh, I thought the story was compelling. Didn't know if I could pull off the cinematography job, but I was excited to try. So mm -hmm. happy that you asked me and happy that we can make it work out. Yeah, and he did a fantastic job. Aww. He really did. I'm blushing. <laughs> Elijah Perry was our gaffer. So anytime I was able to, the garage, make it look like a fire scene instead of like exhaust, but. <laughs> but yeah, Hayes is amazing. Hayes mm. for days. And Bethany Meckley was our first AD. So at the beginning of August, I was able to work as the first assistant director on the short film Unwanted. So during pre-production, I worked with the director, Joshua, to um, figure out a filming schedule, a rough filming schedule to begin with. So we figured out what scenes we would do what day is based on the availability of cast and locations. Once we had the rough filming schedule in place, I started working on daily schedules, figuring out what time we would start, what time we would wrap, um, what time we would have lunch, which is obviously the most important part of the day, and just how to fit in everything that we needed to film that day and um, best maximize the use of our time. After we locked dates and assembled the crew, I shot a crowdfunding video and put together an Indiegogo campaign. A little less than a month later, a bunch of generous people donated almost $5,000 and we had our budget. Our main cast consisted of Cameron Denny playing teenage Aaron and Rhonda Rusco who played Alice. Working on set with Josh and his crew was absolutely fabulous. I've been on a lot of sets and this one I enjoyed particularly because everything ran so smoothly and not very many film sets actually adhere to a call sheet, but this one definitely did. We were on time, ahead of time, all the time. So I really appreciated how smoothly Josh's set um, flowed it really made my job as an actor so much easier. So kudos to you guys. Thank you so much for creating such a fabulous atmosphere on set for, for the short film Unwanted. The majority of our casting was done through the website Backstage where we found the incredibly talented Rob Hudspeth and Harper Heath. Hi guys, thanks for having me. I had fun on set. We also had Tred Bonds and Sarah Woodward, both of whom I've worked with before. And really everyone on the cast did an incredible job and I'm super proud of the performances that we were able to get. While all this was going on, me and my DP Hunter got to visit some of the locations. We took a lot of notes and went step by step through all the scenes, figuring out how we were gonna shoot them. Yeah. Should I talk to you or should I talk to the camera while I'm Just talk to the camera, pretend okay. the camera. Okay, so- No, sorry, I mean, talk to, to me, to... pretend the camera's not here. Oh, okay. Wait a minute, no, no, I'm just gonna talk to the camera. Okay. So, Josh, Josh, do you think we should, um, do you think we should have like a slider move in for that push in instead of a gimbal? Uh, what, what are you thinking? Yeah? Okay, yeah, I like that idea too. And at last, after months and months of preparation, our out of state crew came in and we got right to work on our two pre production days before the shoot. I'll link the videos that we shot on both those days in the description below. Those two days mainly consisted of the cast and crew getting to know each other making minor tweaks to the schedule and testing out all the gear and packing it for the first shoot day. Finally, production arrived and I'm gonna let some of the cast and crew tell you what their experience was. The director, Josh Mangrum, the way he approaches uh, scenes and just the overall film is pretty amazing to watch. You know, I got the privilege of being on set um, each day and so 
just to watch him walk, you know, is is pretty cool. What was pos what was the most difficult scene to shoot? Uh, without a shadow of a doubt, it was the argument in the bedroom. That was very emotional, very deep. Uh, a couple of challenges for this scene. First challenge, first and foremost, was we had to darken the window. We had to create a tent with duvetine over the window to cut out any daylight because this was shot in the morning. There was a huge bush there, which uh, we had to uh, struggle with. And um, that was a lot of fun. It was a very prickly bush as well. Very, very, uh, very sharp. All right, what is your name and your role? I'm Alexandra Mangrum and I'm the director. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm Brendan Kofink, and I'm the behind-the-scenes shooter for this, so um, I guess everything you're watching in this documentary is probably shot by me. Um, except for this. Except for this. What is your name and what is your role? I'm the makeup artist. I'm... <laughs> okay. <laughs> My name is Hava Perry, and I'm the makeup artist. The most difficult thing shooting BTS is there's... Actually, honestly, it's been really easy. Uh, hmm. I'm trying to think of all the fans, the BTS, what they would find interesting. So I think one of the most important things for me was just to be able to fulfill Josh's vision for this, this short film and yeah, to make it come to life. Really, this project was incredible because of the people I got to work with. I couldn't have pulled it off without them. Everyone did an incredible job and went above and beyond to fulfill their role on set. As a young, low-budget director, I'm fairly used to having to do a lot of things myself. But this project specifically, things were passed off more than they ever have been before. And that was super nice because I got to really focus in on directing actors, which is something I'm trying to improve on. It was very freeing when I could just ask, hey, could someone hand me a script? And Parker would have my back and he would get me one. I'm basically his support, like his emotional support guy on set. He, he needs me. No, I, I don't really need Parker emotionally speaking yeah i don't i don't think he could finish any of his films without me being there you know the the production quality is like it goes up when i'm on set when i'm not on set it's like well maybe maybe lower than that anyway it was finally time to start editing and really there isn't too much to say about post-production the dit got all the footage ingested and organized on set so all i really had to do was sync the video and audio and then start working on the first rough cut after many different rough cuts and lots and lots of notes and reviews from cast and crew and people that i trusted we had our locked cut at the recording of this video i have just sent off the cut to my colorist brennan sapp and my sound designer Jaden peterman I would also like to give a huge shout out to Drake Livingston, who was the composer for Unwanted. He was able to fit us into his very busy schedule and compose the incredible score for Unwanted. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching this behind the scenes video. If this interested you, please check out all the other videos in the description below. I have more commentary from the cast and crew, different interviews, B-roll from the set, and behind the scenes from the pre-production days. Thank you again so much for watching. Please subscribe to Ignite Visuals on YouTube. Check out the Script to Screen podcast. Leave a comment below, and I'll see you in the next video.